Flooding last month forced some residents in Collingdale, Delaware County to evacuate. Tonight, they are watching Bill's forecast very closely. CBS Philadelphia's Aziza Schuler went back to follow up with families who have been in this position before. Most of the tenants here on Florence Avenue have recently returned home after that severe flooding less than a month ago. Now they say they're holding their breath for what's to come with tomorrow's storm. I just came home today and I'm really frightened of this next flood. In mid December, Carolyn Hines lost most of her prized possessions and memories when a coastal storm that brought more than two inches of rain flooded her basement on Florence Avenue in Collingdale. Exactly three weeks later, even though the walls are crumbling and there's a lingering scent of mold, Hines figured she'd return to her home now that gas, electricity, and water had finally been restored. Still, she's uneasy with heavy rain and flash flooding in the forecast for Tuesday. I didn't even unpack my bags. I am still got my bags at the steps waiting to call my daughter on standby. Especially with the weather being what it's going to be tomorrow, you don't know. You don't know what to expect. Her neighbor Daryl Howell was cleared to move his wife and children back into their home last Thursday. He says being displaced has taken a mental toll on the kids. They were very vocal about their misunderstanding of why these circumstances were occurring, of us not being able to be in our home. The borough says since the December 18th flood, they've sent crews to inspect storm drains for clogs and blockages. Officials don't anticipate Tuesday's rain will have a strong impact on Florence Avenue. However, given the increasing flood risk, Howell is highly considering finding a new place to live. There's only so much I can do, finding somewhere else I could be would be something that I could do to help prevent flooding. For Hines, moving isn't an option. This is my home. This is all I have, and it's not much, but it's mine. I want to be safe. I want to feel like I'm safe. In Collingdale, Aziza Schuler, CBS News, Philadelphia.